uh, as a CNBC contributor. I, I am trying to decide, and the market loves to, to confuse us with false starts each way. Is, is, this, is this something where you think weakness is a buying opportunity at this point, Gunjen, or where any strength that you see should be used to maybe raise cash? Or nobody knows, I know, but it, has it changed at all from the first half of the year? Are we in a better spot? Look, Joe, I think uh, the common theme that I keep hearing from investors and traders is we do not trust this rally. We are seeing a little bit of green after the long weekend and into this shortened trading week. But I think traders coming back from summer vacation are incredibly pessimistic. And that hasn't changed from the first half of the year. It's pretty striking when you look at, you know, S&P 500 futures short positions. They're incredibly, incredibly high people are yanking money from stock funds. So I think people are kind of gloomy going into the rest of the year. And it all comes back to the Fed and the wake up call that we got over the summer from Powell. I think we used to think of a kind of a 3600 to 4400 range uh, in the S&P. And that's a pretty broad range. Do you think that holds right now? Do you, do you think that we're, you know, we're indicated up a little today? I, I was optimistic or hopeful that maybe we move it up to where 3,900, 3,850 could be the low, and we don't have to go below 3,600. What are, what are people saying at this point? Has, has at least the range been, been moved up, or are we going to new lows? I think a lot of people are afraid that we are going to retest, um, retest new lows. You know, that's a big fear out there right now. And again, it all comes back to how this old playbook just is not working anymore. And we saw that over the summer where we had this incredibly intense rally for a few weeks and it, it proved to be short lived. You know, it went away. So I think that's put a lot of people on edge that we could be heading in the wrong direction. It's made people scared to trust these rallies that we have. You know, think about Friday. We started off so strong. Major indexes started surging after what seemed like kind of the perfect jobs report. But those gains couldn't hold up. So I think the old playbook just does not seem to be working anymore. And we are an entirely new regime for both stocks and bonds with both asset classes in a bear market right now. There are a lot of things to be concerned with, obviously. But, but I, I'm trying to think if there's anything that, that isn't front and center. We, we're, we're well aware I could list off the things that we're concerned with. And, and I think the, the average man or, or woman on the street could probably even come up with them. It's been so highly pu uh, publicized. That's what makes me think, what is it that could get much worse? And, and I understand, you know, given what happens in, in Europe, and we're going to talk about the U.K. And, and the economy over there, but there, these are all things that are well known. I think one of the big concerns out there is this hard landing, and we haven't seen that yet. You know, a lot of the economic data has kind of retained hopes of a soft landing, including the jobs report Friday. So I think that's one of the big risks out there that we just can't grasp quite yet. You know, what does this landing look like? And, and what does the economy look like a few months from now after a few more rate hikes? And of course, as you mentioned, Europe is still this big risk. We don't know what's going to happen there. Um, the war is ongoing. So there are these unknowns out there. Um, and it's unclear how they're going to resolve. And, and I think that's, that's kind of raising the stakes for the rest of the year and making people cautious going into the rest of the year.